so far this morning has been great. Brand new kayak, two kings in it in like 10 minutes. Let's go get some more. thinking about it. Thought about it. Alright, so today I'm out in my new Sportsman's PDL 120, which for all intents and purposes is almost a clone of my Topwater 120 PDL from Old Town. But there are some major differences which make this an amazing kayak so old time really listened to what English had to say about critiquing the original topwater and they incorporated some really nice features into this kayak and the first one is this chair I'm sitting on it is so much better I mean like night and day better than the original top and water chair this thing's like ridiculously comfortable i have no discomfort change the pitch there's no more bar in the back uh the the material seems firmer more supportive it's just really nice and chair is a pretty big deal i mean if you don't like sitting in your kayak it's it's kind of a kind of a big deal so I'm going to go over some of the other different features today uh, and compare the original Topwater 120 to this new Sportsman's PDL 120 and show you why I'm so much more excited about this kayak and I'm definitely looking forward to keeping this kayak in my fleet of kayaks for a long time to come. Not to mention I've already caught two kings in it and two sockeye in the first hour it's been on the water. And one thing that's nice about the new Sportsman's PDL 120, it's just like the Topwater 120 in terms of gear track layout. It was just a matter of moving all my gear track stuff over. The old days, I'd have to drill holes and set up new gear track on a new kayak. Now I can just move things over in a couple minutes and essentially have a brand new kayak rigged and ready to fish, even with all my rod holders and camera mounts and fish finders and transducers. It just takes no time. But what's key with these Kings is you definitely gotta have a secure rod holder base. And that's why I like these Ram HD mounts because it has a double track base that uh, can take the brutal hits and tension and stress that's put on it by these Kings when they smash this gear. There's fish. Yes. Yeah. So today I'm using rotating flashers, either Pro Trolls or Leo flashers. And I got super baits on one side and this Yakima bait spin fish here on the left, which has just been getting absolutely annihilated. This guy hasn't made a run yet. He's going to eventually. Huh? I start getting them near the surface. There he goes. Jeez. Now he woke up. 70 feet of line.
90. Starting to gain some ground here. Jeez, it's a beast. Probably another wild fish with that kind of attitude. Jeez, I'm back down to 100 feet. Normally I don't like to let them get that far out here. Jeez, jeez. I'm going at him and I'm not gaining line. You gotta run out of juice after that 100 foot run. I'm running out of juice. He's gotta be. Woo! There you go, big king on that Yakima bait spin fish. There we go. Nice, look at that. Take that any day. Okay, well, let me explain a little bit about the rigs I'm using today. Um, I'm also using long and short rods just to show that you can land kings and salmon using both. So this is a short Travala rod. Not very long. Uh, seven foot. That's an eight and a half foot Shimano. On this rod I've been running a Pro Troll. In front of that I have a 30 inch bumper to a slider weight system. And then behind the Pro Troll I've been running spinners and super baits. Um, I hooked one on a super bait this morning, Seahawk mini super bait. I'm trying the spinner here, just throw something different down. Everybody's running super baits. Um, on that slider, I'm going to run anywhere from a 10 to 16 ounce weight. 16 ounces might seem like a lot, but when you got 200 boats around you, you can't have 100 feet of line paid out. Just, it's not going to work. On this line, or this rod, this has been the star of the show this morning same slider weight system 40 pound bumper to a dual lock i use dual locks everywhere because you want to be able to clip in and out to fix situations like that where you get stuff caught up or if you get caught up with somebody else says line on another boat they can just pull your gear in the boat unclip it and then come back over and give it to you if you get hung up you don't have to cut anything so this is a leo flasher but if you offset it right here, it creates a big 360 twirl. And then the star of the show is the Acma Baits Spin Fish. I just got a hold of these and uh, they are fishy as heck. I only brought one out today. I'm kind of kicking myself. I should have brought more. Uh, I didn't get home until late last night, so I have time to rig a bunch. But I'm just running a couple uh, Big River Baits off the back of that thing and uh, tearing it up. So it's cool about this, it's like a super bait, it opens up and you can stuff tuna on the inside. What I like about it is the tuna stays in there really well, um, even after a fish hits it. Like I brought that fish all the way in, that thing's still packed with tuna, it's great. And I'll just pack it back down, throw some more juice on it, and uh, be good to go. Keep fishing. So when I'm trolling for these kings, I tend to troll a little bit faster than I would for sockeye. Um, I like a really good bump on there. And you'll see with these dodgers, it makes the rod tip go up down. You want that to be at least one Mississippi, two Mississippi, or faster. So down, downstream troll, I'm going 2.4. Typically with the current here in Brewster. Upstream, I'm going 1.5 to 1.6. So a pretty good clip. Oh, 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 oh. A little love tug there. 
Dang it. Just trying to keep me out here longer. That's what they do. Like, oh, I'm going in. Boom. Just a little tap. So here on this side, we've got the Sportsman's 120 PDL, my new kayak. Over here, the old Topwater 120 PDL. Really similar. Essentially identical. Same mold um, on the front. Uh, same drain plugs, handles, hatch configuration, maybe different color bungee. Same PDL placement, same track system. Everything's the same here. No differences until we start getting back here. Then we start getting differences. This is the Predator PDL upgraded seat I put, or the Predator seat I upgraded onto my Topwater because the original Topwater seat was terrible. I can post a link to that video at the end here. Um, what happens is um, with that chair and even with this one, this one's more firm, better support, just a higher quality chair and it has some storage in the back, which is really nice. But um, the pitch of this pushes your your butt back down in here and your lower back tailbone hits that bar, which is great for stability because it pulls you back into the kayak, but it's terrible on your back. So you just hit that and it grinds on your tailbone all day. Enter the new Sportsman's PDL seat. This thing's lovely, much um, more firm, a lot higher quality material. They have that same breathable material, but they've incorporated uh, some reinforcement here so it's a little more firm they got this kind of like honeycomb here and this and this pitch of this is different so now when your seat comes back when your butt comes back here you can't hit this bar because of this band and i feel like your your butt's a little bit higher so it's really nice i love this chair it's a night and day difference in fact uh even my wife who has back issues says this is probably one of the most comfortable chairs she's sat in Unfortunately, it doesn't have any rear storage, but you can do aftermarket. Continuing on back, both sides, they have the same rudder, uh, up-down configuration, and control knobs on both sides. The well is only marginally different. What they did is they blew out the well here, so there's more storage. So this is actually really nice for me because I have to put king salmon back here and big lean cod. And I have a big catch bag, and I don't know why they put this space here. They've eliminated that now. So I can put some really nice uh, size catch bags back here. And uh, I just feel like I have a ton of space. It's great. And it's just a 12-foot kayak. All right, and then coming back, I can show you here. I added um, an aftermarket uh, gear track there, which I'll probably do here the same for light poles and things like that. And then, uh, see, originally on the top water, they had this handle here and this handle here. They've eliminated that here and put a shallow water anchor system, which is probably not very useful in the Pacific Northwest. But like I said, that big game changer is, see here I had to lift under and try and grab here, which there's not a lot to grab onto, so I ended up lifting. Here, I've got those handles underneath. So overall, I mean, it's not a major tweak, but the differences or the changes they made are significant enough to me to make, to me, it's a dramatically better kayak, especially for the fisheries I participate in and for car topping, because for me, being able to car top a kayak is just really important because um, that's one of the freedoms I like about having a kayak is not having to trailer and just being able to throw it up on top of the car. All right, guys, if you have any questions about king fishing in the Brewster Pool, Upper Columbia, or questions about the Sportsman's PDL or Top Water 120 PDL, just let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.